means elevators without errors. Соответственно, вот она с этой группой, а группа обычно это все старые пердуны. И вот старые пердуны, значит, видят, ну иди, лед, значит, я, ну иди там лет 20 чем. Мы сидим. Кто-то бутылочку принесет, кто-то шоколад. Ну, как эпос, но я не Давайте большой пакет. Hey Boris. Oh shit. Check this out. Yes, you know that Two hours into our ten hour bus ride. No way you see. We just stopped for a pee break. Mosquitoes just about carried us away. So. Vodka shots in the back. <laughs> Loving it though. This is uh, day four travel. We've been through 18 time zones and uh, 19 time zones. Uh, we got another eight hours in this bus. And then, I don't know if we're overnighting or what, but we got uh, these two guys here in the back. They're gonna fly us in this big chopper. Fly us into camp, I think it's about two hours in the chopper, so. It's about 5.30 in the morning. We're just going to sight the guns in before we get on the helicopter. It's a beautiful morning. We got here last night about nine o'clock, I believe. Yeah, we just pulled up to sight our guns in here. Four bears jumped out. A sow and two cubs. Oh, there's the big one, you guys, right there. Holy shit. Oh, it's a sow with three little cubs. Oh, yeah, it's here. Mm -hmm. Three little cubs. So two sows and five cubs just now. Well, that's strange, that many bears together like that. That was all right. <laughs> Seven bears. Six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Grizzly wrangling tours. I believe it's like a Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> I would think, huh? Travel insurance necessary. <laughs> You're gonna take this little whip here on the right, but the battery died, so <laughs> waiting for some booster cables. Is that right? Retro. Retro? Say that 
Say that again? Нет, я, ну, русис, да, русис, русис, москвич, москвич, москвич. scary when that thing yeah. uh, rotors 20 feet from your head. Yeah. <clears throat> Boys are just setting up camp here. We haven't even hardly been out of the chopper for 20 minutes and two very nice rams just come over skyline looking at us. He got him. He got him. Day two, and we've been climbing this mountain all morning. Finally got to the top, and I mean, this is just spectacular. Big volcano in the back. Looks like we're in some really good sheep country, but we're still having a great time. Um, we're just hoping we can spot a nice ram here any minute. And the mosquitoes are eating us alive. <laughs> eating alive in Kimchaka. <laughs> There's a sheep. Whereabouts? It's Taiwan. Oh. oh. Good spot. No, four rams. Holy shit, look at the one oh. on the right. He's not three quarter though, is he? No. No, he isn't. Well, we just got to the top, sat down, and four rams come around the corner, busted us. One looks like he's older like eight or nine ish but he's broomed off real short they got nice mass these rams but good thing that wasn't a 40 incher because man we <laughs> didn't 
didn't play our cards very good there. They're coming right to us and our guide started running away over this little ridge. And we followed them and they seen us and it's gone. Should have sat still. Yeah, had we sat still, they probably were sitting right on the trail they were coming on, so it would have been kind of cool, but oh well. Kimchak of Bighorn, that's beautiful. It's a volcano right behind them. It's that lead ram. action-packed couple of days I haven't been videoing a whole lot running out of battery but uh, it's been uh, it's now day three of the hunt so there's been a change of plan suddenly so a third guide went way beyond past where we went yesterday he radios our guide says we got seven rams so uh, Darren and our guide took off over there I gave him all my water and food I'm on my way back to camp I gotta get more food and water. Me and another guy, me and another one of the guides are gonna bring a tent and sleeping bags and stuff because apparently these seven rams are a ways away or something or other. It's like playing charades. These guys don't speak speak English at all, so you're you're basically just playing charades until you figure out what each other's trying to talk about. But it's been incredible. I haven't seen any bears over here, thankfully. But uh it's been steep and just long climbing all day climbing and walking and they don't like to sit still very long these guys which is good but uh, yeah so hopefully we can catch up with Darren and them before they kill the ram tonight sometime <laughs> How are you feeling? Pretty good now. Yeah. I wouldn't have made it last time. I was just out. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Way to go, Dan. Hey, thanks, man. He's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He's a great looking ram. Where is he? He's in the. Oh, is he? Oh, good. Yeah. Eleven years old, fourteen inch base. I think, uh, 
guy said he thought 11. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I got too. Just point up to where he shot him. Just the other side of that big rock pile way up there. Easy two hour hike. <laughs> that's not easy. <laughs> Overheated, broke down. We're on about uh, hour seven, and uh, another flat. Got the thermostat problem fixed, but now we got a flat tire, so. At least we're on some hard top now, so we're smooth sailing. Let's get this tire switched. That was all right. <laughs>